Hi, I'm Larry Miller, but in a way, aren't we all? And this week on This Week with Larry Miller, we do a lot of important things. Well, I think comedy is always important. But first of all, we clear Dick York's good name, or at least I do. I had mentioned uh, on another show in another context that I thought he had a drinking problem, and that's how he ended his involvement with Bewitched. Turns out he was injured, though, and became a very sick guy. He was on a movie set and really racked his back up doing a stunt and just couldn't go on there. But I'll tell you more of that story because we never, you never, if you're a fan of the show, and I never want to go through life where you've actually used someone's name the wrong way and uh, told a story that might not be true. So we get to clear his name. And I think on balance it works out all well because that means you're bringing someone's name up twice, and I think he'll be happy wherever he is. It's not around here, by the way. And in addition to that, we talk about the disco scene in New York City in the late 70s. Now, how would I come to know about that? How would I have a suit like that? How would I have shoes like that? Well, of course I didn't. But I had a girlfriend who liked Studio 54, and uh, she liked that, and I certainly liked her. And uh, for, for the limited amount of time she gave me anyway. And we went there, and then I wound up getting hired there because they saw me at the comic strip for a big Halloween party where you're, I was a head on a platter sticking through a silver platter where people wanted to be insulted. The job was to insult the people who came into the room and saw my head on the platter. So I was supposed to be an insult head on a platter. And this ultimately wasn't going to work. They'd seen me at the comic strip, and they were nice, and they hired me. But I said, I just tell these little stories with these word pictures. I'm not sure I'm your guy. And they said, we think you could do it. And I said, I don't really insult people. I don't make fun of people. I don't really know how to do that. And I'm not even sure it's funny. But they said, we think you could do it. And it was $100, which is still pretty good because you can then go out and have a, have a hamburger and a drink. But the point is, uh, they hired me for that. It didn't, ultimately, it did not go well. But the same guy who almost had one of his girlfriends come under the table to sit with me, Nuff said, the same guy who saw me, who was a very wealthy businessman from a Middle Eastern country, saw me and hired me again to entertain him and his friends, another dozen guys like him who were all wealthy businessmen, who themselves wanted to be insulted. Again, I wasn't even good at insulting him, but it was another $100. I'm making 100 bucks all over the place from people who want to be insulted. It was a very silly moment in life, and there was another disco there that hired me because they heard about this. They called Studio 54 and said, who would be good for this show? They said, try this guy. This is how, by the way, this is how government jobs happen, I think, because I was no good at any of these things, but they said, well, we have to hire someone, call Studio 54, and they did. And I'll tell you all about these next time on This Week with Larry Miller. Remember, you check us out at www.acelarrymiller.com or download us for free on iTunes. We'll see you there.